how to unlock the pebblets and pollen turrets, and everything about these defensive weapons. By now, you already know, pebblets and pollen turrets are a thing. What you may not know is how to unlock the recipes, how to set them up, do you mean here? Ouch! And the best way to use these killing machines. What, like this? Hey! Am I doing this correct? Stop it, guys! What? I can't hear you. Boy, I'm sweating in here. Ow! 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 Ouch! Cut! 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 To unlock the pollen turret, deliver the picnic chip to Burgle. And buy the recipe for 4000 raw signs. To unlock the public turret, deliver the sandbox ship to Burgle. And buy the recipe for 4000 raw signs. If you need a hand on how to get these two Burgle chips, a video guide is being suggested on the top right corner of the screen. To build any of the two turrets, you will need two acorn shell, one acorn top, three lint rope, one flower petal, and two weed stem. As the recipes are identical, take care of what turret you are building. More than once, I have built the pollen turret instead of the pebble turret. You can identify them by the sticker it has on the right side of the gun. And of course, the pebble turret inflicts damage, while the pollen turret inflicts a bit of damage and stuns the target. Now that you know the basics, some tips on how to set it up. There are two ways to load this insect slayer. You can carry the ammunition on your inventory, or place chests around it. I am here in the Scavenger's King backyard. Welcome everyone! Let's see how many pebbles I can shoot from this turret. 4,290. Hmm. Just enough to conquer the world. And what about on the pollen turret? 572. I think we can make Wendell's knees with this stack. You can shoot in all horizontal directions. But not in all vertical angles. I hope that in the future this will change. Not being able to shoot downwards limits where you can place the turrets. The furthest distance we are able to shoot with the pebble turret was 151 centimeters, or 60 inches. The furthest distance we are able to shoot with the pollen turret was 266 centimeters, or 105 inches. Both turrets are effective defenses against flying creatures, as you don't need to chase them. With 4 to 10 pebblet hits, you can kill a mosquito, depending on how much life it steals. You can also stun it with pollen shots and allow your friend to finish the job. Even though also effective against some ground creatures, if you're playing solo, I don't recommend using turrets against them, 
as there are hand weapons that do a much better job. If you're playing with friends, the pollen turret can be a good crowd control weapon, giving time to the team attack stunned enemies and recover stun. The best use for turrets are on mixers with flying creatures. It will make the challenge much, much easier. Now that the turrets are mastered, time to battle, soldiers! Ouch! Oh, I'm tired of you guys. Time to die, soldiers! Oh, oh, hey, oh, 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 go ahead, guys, oh, hey, hey, how, how am I still alive? And here is another pro tip, turrets will protect you until it breaks. The king lives on. No damage is taken while inside a turret. That's all we got for the newly added turrets. If you know other tips and tricks, comment below. I'm sure there is still a bunch of things to discover about this killing machine. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For those that are already subscribed, thank you for your support. That's okay, I'll let you spy on me.